Hello everyone, Cat Weasel here, and welcome back to turn 16 of Arkham Horror, the Dunwich Horror. Well, this is taking a while. Turn 16, blimey. To be honest, this game by now has normally killed you, buried you in the backyard and built a patio on top of you, but we seem to be hanging on. What I've been doing is I've been doing a bit of research, and I have an amazing plan pretty much like Baldrick, it's extremely cunning and I'm going to share you share that with you in a minute but first I want to show you some of the things I've been buying why not the other day I got the new room bound and it's very purdy don't worry I'm not doing an unboxing there's loads of unboxings but that's cool and today zombie side black play came through woo -hoo! So fantastic news. Also, I've not got much to do over Christmas, so keep your eyes peeled for both of those. Anyway, back to the fantastic plan. Well, I'll let you see it unfold. What's the plan? Where is everybody this turn? Well, Monterey Jack is at Hibbs Roadhouse. He will be followed by William Yorick, who is here at the Silver Twilight Lodge. Then it is Agnes Baker, and she's up at Bishop Brooks Bridge. And finally, we have Daisy Walker, who's down here in the woods. So let's get across to the upkeep phase. And here's Monty. Well, have we got a plan for Monty? Oh, yes, we've got a plan for everybody, baby. Right, so it's got four clue tokens, it speeds up at four, it has got the Deputy Varkham patrol wagon, the Deputy's revolver, he's got the all-important gate trophy, and he's also got a couple of monster toughness with the werewolf. What's he going to do? Well, he can go anywhere because of that patrol wagon. Now, I did mention the unvisited aisle, but you know what? We're going to push our luck a bit. I may as well go for it. I've got a plan that involves the patrol wagon. Where he's actually going to go is he's going to go to Bishop's Brook Bridge and meet up with Agnes. We have got a major plan that is going down. Next up is William Yorick. Here's William. William's blessed, so we're going to have to roll for that first of all. So come on, William. And a four. So he keeps his blessing. That's good. That is good, good, good. Now, we were going to have William Yorick go to the general store. Now, I know the general store is closed, but my thoughts on the matter were, at least where I come from, when stores are shut, they still have doorways. Consequently, you can still go to the location that that store is in. You can't buy anything, fair enough, but you can stand there. But not in Arkham Horror. Because for some weird way out reason, you're just not allowed to go into the location whatsoever. It's an absolutely ridiculous rule. But come on, it's Arkham. For once, I'm not going to house rule against it. Fair enough. But it's still a stupid rule. Um, you, of course you can go to the location. You can go to a store. You don't have to go inside. But anyway, that's by the by. So what I was going to do was I was going to take on the cultist in the Rivertown streets and kill it. He's agoraphobic and we'd have lost the sanity, but we could have got to Arkham Asylum next turn. However, I've decided against that because we've got this plan. And this plan involves him going back where he's just come from. He's going down to South Church. You will see why when it plays out in the movement phase. Right, next up is Agnes Baker and here's Agnes she's all set up what we'll do is we'll knock her speed up because I think we'll want her rushing around a bit uh, shortly but as you can see look at all this stuff she's got all this stuff and she's stuck up at Bishop's Brook Bridge so what we're going to do is uh, Monterey Jack's going to pay her a visit and they're going to have a little trade and you'll see what happens. Some of you will have already guessed, but we'll have a little trade and we'll see how it goes. So that's Agnes. 
And next up is Daisy Walker. And here's Daisy and all her stuff. So, what we're going to have her do is go to South Church. Now that takes three movement. So we'll use a two focus and put it right up to four. And the reason is, and Matt pointed this out, as well as pointing out that I couldn't go in the general store, he also pointed out that, of course, it's only three movement to get from the woods to South Church. That means I've got a movement point over if I put her up to four speed. The old journal only needs a single movement point. That was my fault. I'm so used to these journals and tomes taking two movement points that I'd forgotten that this only takes one. So we will hopefully be able to get three clue tokens off this. So that's what we're going to do. So many thanks to Matt for pointing that out. So that's brilliant stuff. So she's going to move to South Church. She's going to cast the old journal, hopefully, and we're going to get three clue tokens. But before that, let's refresh our chemical process and then let's exhaust it. And it's the old eight dice routine to see if we can get three dollars. And we definitely want three dollars because we've got a plan. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we've got two sixes and a five. That's more than enough. So we get that three dollars. Gonna come in extremely useful. One, two, three. That's pretty cool. There's nothing else we're going to cast. Um, we'll leave Vision Quest. We've got to do that at the end of our movement. And by the end of our movement, we'll be in South Church. And there are no actual clues in South Side. But that's everything set up to go. I don't think there's anything else. I don't think we're doing any more, uh, any more upkeep. Nobody else has got to do anything. William Yorick, we've done his blessing. So that's fine. Monterey doesn't have a bank loan anymore. And we have done the alchemical process. So let's go to our funky movement phase. And first up we have Monty. So he's going to Bishop's Brook Bridge. Why? Why is he going up there? Why? Because I remembered something. <clears throat> He's used no movement to get there, he's just used the patrol wagon. But the good old patrol wagon, this is just an item. It can be traded. And he is going to trade it. He is going to trade it to Agnes Baker. It isn't exhausted. It doesn't get exhausted. At all. So, anybody could use it. By the letter of the game, and I've checked this, we could hand it over to every single, like, investigator on the board. In turn, like, Agnes could go to William Yorick now and hand it over. But I'm going to house rule that you can only trade it and use it again once. Uh, I think that's fair enough. It is taking the mickey a bit that you go round the whole board. The other thing you can't do is, for example... Um, Monterey couldn't go to Agnes here, do a load of trading, then go to William, do a load of trading, and then go to Daisy and do a load of trading. You can't do drive-by trading. So what he's done is he's drove to Bishop Brook Bridge, and he's got out of the patrol wagon, and he said to Agnes, you use a patrol wagon. Now, they can trade now, because he's got out, he's not using it anymore, so what she's going to do, is she's going to give Monty, as the changing, as the changing seats in the patrol wagon, she's giving Monty a dollar because he's going to have to get back from Bishopsbrook Bridge. So she gives him that dollar, and she is also going to give him. She's got the fetch stick, so she's going to give him the golden sword of Yahatala just to give him a magic weapon as well. So that'll be pretty funky. So he's got that and the deputy's revolver. Both are one-handed weapons. So he's really tooled up now for killing monsters 
and he's up here in Dunwich. Doesn't need the patrol wagon anymore. That goes to Agnes. So Agnes now has the patrol wagon. You can go and check that. It is tradable. Kevin Wilson said yay. So we've traded it to Agnes. Right, so that's the end of Monterey Jack's movement phase. Next up, it's William Yorick. And here's William. So he's going to go one, two, three, and he's going to go right back into South Church. Because we've got the end of the plan to do. So that's it for William. Next up is Agnes Baker. Here's Agnes. She's now in the patrol wagon. Where do you think she's going to go? You have guessed already, haven't you? But let's see if you're right. That's right. Agnes and her million gate trophies and monster trophies have gone to South Church, where she can hopefully start blessing everyone. Cool. Is she going to do any trading with William Yorick? So let's have a look. Now, William's got Law Monster. Now, he's not the world's greatest magician or law machine. So he's going to get rid of that and he's going to give that to Agnes. So she's got a spell now, which is Law Monster. Hopefully we can get her stamina up and she may be able to kill a few monsters for us. So she's got Law Monster. Is there anything else that he's going to get rid of? Not at the moment. He's going to get rid of something shortly. But it's not going to be... In fact, yes, he is. He's going to give her the cross as well. So she's now got the cross. Which she may need. He's going to keep the 38 revolver though. For the time being. So that's Agnes. She's moved down. And she's with William at South Church. Courtesy of the patrol wagon. She's not going to trade the patrol wagon. As I say, I don't think it's... Uh, well, it's tradable, but she, she's not going to trade it to somebody who's going to use it again. I think um, once it's been traded once in a turn, I'm going to house rule that it can't be used several times. It can be traded and used once again. So we'll keep it at that. That way we don't have it like whizzing around the board, which seems a bit too much. But what happened there with... Monterey, him driving up to Bishop's Brook Bridge, giving her the patrol wagon and her driving to South Church seems fine to me. Um, but, you know, swapping it left, right and centre and all four investigators going all over the place in the same turn does seem a bit excessive. So I'll allow it that once. OK, next, Daisy Walker. That's right, everyone. We're going to be having a bit of a church social so she's going one, two, three. So she's at South Church now. Let's get these out of here. Keep the happy ones. Get rid of the unhappy ones. So what's she going to do now? Well, the first thing she's going to try is the old journal. So we've got the old journal here. So we've got to make a law minus one check. So her law is six. Because it's just a law check, we don't get the glass of Mortland. So it's six minus one, that is five dice. Come on, Daisy. And she passes, she gets a six. So we get three clue tokens and we discard the old journal. We now have five clue tokens. Woohoo! Brighty hell. What are we going to do now? Well, she can trade. So, what she's going to do is she's going to receive the 38 revolver from William. He still has his shotgun, so that's cool. So, she'll keep a, a sword of glory for the time being, but she does have a 38 revolver just in case. What else is she going to do? No, nope, that's it. She's going to get the patrol wagon. So that's going to be left outside for her running. And the reason she's going to end up with a patrol wagon, she's not going to use it now because her, her movement's finished. She'll use it next turn. Is if you remember, we got sealing the beast's power. 
which is a mission. So if she can get to Hibbs Roadhouse, the library and ye old magic shop and sacrifice one sanity, then we're laughing chocolate biscuits, yeah? Because we can reduce the Ancient One's combat rating to two. Now, she's only got one sanity at the moment, which means we're going to have to go via Arkham Asylum. We're also gambling. We've got one left on the Doom track. So, you know, we might do it, we might not. In all probability, the gate's going to open. But, you know, let's go for it, man. So she's got the patrol wagon, which will make that a hell of a lot easier. So we'll put that there. She is going to... What's she going to do? I think she will get rid of... You can tell I've only just thought of this, haven't you? I think she will get rid of... Oh, that's it. She was going to share money out. We've got $18. So $6... He's going to go to William. And another $6. Going to go to Agnes. Because hopefully Agnes will be able to get to the... Um, Agnes will be able to get to St Mary's Hospital eventually. Hopefully. Um, after she's done some blessings. And we've got a bit of money now for Will to hopefully get his sanity up. Right. So I think that is everything. Let's just, yeah, I think I've changed everything. So, yeah, that was a bit, whoop. Obviously, that was a bit of um, jiggery-pokery we've done there, but I think it's okay. I've checked. You can trade the patrol wagon. So, the only people that used it were Monterey to go to Bishopsbrook Bridge, where he handed it over to Agnes, Agnes drove all the way to South Church and she's just handed it over to Daisy. But Daisy, she isn't actually going to use it until next turn. So, cool, cool, cool. Excellent stuff. Right, so that's it for the movement phase. Let's move on to the Arkham Encounter phase. And here's Monty Bishop Brook Bridge. So let's have a look at the green deck for the village commons. Be a bit of a crap shuffle. And split it. Bishop's Brook Bridge. An older gentleman calling himself Joshua Place offers to teach you the art of dowsing. If you accept, gain two clue tokens and stay here next turn. Well, why not? I'm expecting, to be honest, for all my grandiose plans with the patrol wagon, um, it's probably, probably going to, like, I mean, Yogg's going to wake up this turn, probably. So, <clears throat> getting delayed's not a problem. So we'll take those two clue tokens. Thank you very much, Joshua. Coolness. And that puts him up to six. He could actually close a gate up here if, and seal it if he wanted. We'll have a think about that. Right. Coolness. Get rid of that. We didn't need it. Right. It's the church social. Let's get to it. And first up, we've got William. So, just in case he needs it. Now, he's not going to get anything, I don't think. No, he's not going to spend his gate trophy, so he's just going to have a normal encounter. So it's the brown south side deck. Hopefully he won't get blessed again. South Church. You join in the morning mass. Spend one clue token to ask for heavenly aid. Well, you don't have any. If you do so, roll a die. On its success, your prayers are answered. Remove one Doom token from the Ancient One's trap. Oh, and he hasn't got a clue token. Damn it. Ah! <laughs> Anybody else, if it had been Agnes or Daisy, we could have took a Doom token off. Ah, damn it. Ah! This game. Right, um... It's playing with us, man. Okay, so uh, unfortunately we couldn't get a Doom token off. <sighs> da 
damn it. Right, it's it's Agnes. Well, Agnes is obviously going to spend five toughness worth of monsters. She'll spend those first. She's got them. She's got two. What's she got here? She's got cultist, the rat thing. Oh no, star vampire. Bloody rat thing. Oh, and a zombie. So let's put those back into the monster bag and she can bless somebody well who's she gonna bless du, 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 du. that's a question that's a question i was gonna do it do daisy but to be honest she's really she's more of a of a spell caster which isn't very good against yog let's be honest so why don't we bless monterey could do herself. Oh no, she's gonna do herself. She's a beast. Uh, she's only got one stamina though, but I think we can get her to St. Mary's Hospital. If we last that long, let's get her to St. Mary's Hospital. She's got plenty of money, so she will, she'll bless herself. So let's get that. So she's blessed herself with those mon with that monster toughness. Cool. I think next she'll do Monterey Jack. Or will she do Daisy? Because it's Daisy's go now, and Daisy can bless, because she's got a skeleton and the gug. I can't say I'm ec ecstatic about, about putting the gug back in the bag, but it does make it up to five. So she is going to bless. Who's she going to bless? I think she will bless herself. Yes. She'll bless herself. Agnes can uh, bless Monty next turn, I think. No, no, she's going to bless Monty. Change my mind. So it's Monty who's being blessed. So Monty's blessed. Excellent. Right, so that's it for the Arkham Encounter phase, I think. Yes, it is. So it's the Laugh and Chuckle phase. And here we are at Arkham and Dunwich. Right, what we need now is a surge. We need a surge. Oh, all that messing around in this turn has been for absolutely nothing. Come on, a surge. The woods! Yes! The woods! It's not even a surge! We've sealed it! We sealed it! Yes! We live again! The game that would never end carries on. Right, so that's no, no gate, no monsters. Top but out, we get a clue at Independent Square. <laughs> Fantastic. Monster movement. Right, we need slashes, triangles or stars. Oh, bloody Yithian, but what the hell? No, I don't think anybody wants to go to the Merchant District streets. So Yithian moves out into the streets there. We've got... We've got no slashes or stars. No. And have we got hexagons? No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No hexagons. Right, so that's monster movement done. Manhunt in Arkham. Headline, all monsters in locations are returned to the cup. Oh, what a, what a card. These are supposed to be bad. So the ghost goes. Unfortunately, the Yithian moved. But that's the other thing. Does Manhunted Arkham include Dunwich? I think it does, you know. I think it does. This definitely goes, the ghost from the graveyard, that definitely goes back in the cup. So we get another monster stand, we've got two. I'm going to have to check about these guys up in Dunwich. But most of the way that this game works is when you mention Arkham, you are including all the boards. So I have a feeling those four, four monsters in Dunwich... There's the Elder thing, there's a crawling one, and there's two ghosts. We could be getting rid of those. I'll check that. 
But for the time being, I'm going to keep them there. I'll let you know at the beginning of the next, because it's been long enough, this episode. I'll let you know at the beginning of the next turn. But I have a feeling that those, bo those babies up there, they're going home into the bag. So that means we haven't got a single monster and we'll have two gates. And we've got Monty, who's got enough clues to go through those gates. And we've just blessed him. What a turn. What a turn, man. Right, let's... I'd have that card again. Oh, right. Um, turn review. Well, fabulous. Just brilliant, man. Tried some funkiness with the patrol wagon that worked out. We managed to um, get a load of money around three of our investigators so they can go and get themselves healed up. We can use the patrol wagon to potentially get minus two off the um, off Yogs. So he's on minus five. So if we do that sealing the beast power, we can get him down to minus three if it comes to the final battle. We've done a bit of trading and Daisy's in a position, possibly go up to... She might just, she might give the uh, Arkham Asylum a miss and just really try and whiz through to complete this Sealing the Beast power. Oh no, she can't. She's only got one sanity. Ugh, damn it. But um, who, who'd be better? Actually, she could give Sealing the Beast power and the patrol wagon to William, couldn't she? William hasn't got much to do. No, he hasn't. So why don't she give that to William? Yeah, I think that's what did. And we could do that at the movement phase next turn. So that's fine. So um, we're not out of turn on the trade or anything. Yes, I think we'll do that. Right, yeah, so that went brilliant. Just getting rid of possibly all those monsters. That's going to be fabulous. Um, the best thing was obviously getting the gate opening at the woods and the woods being sealed. That's fabulous news. We've managed to get... Two other investigators blessed. There's only one more to bless. And Agnes can do that next turn. Can bless Daisy. So all we need to do is get Agnes and Daisy healed up. I suppose William. William's only got two sanity and Monty's only got two stamina. But they're not in that bad shape. Next turn. First play is going to be William. As I've mentioned, I think I'll probably give him the patrol wagon now. And the uh, sealing the beast power let's see if he can do it let's see if he can whiz round and do that for us um, after him it'll be Agnes Agnes is going to stay in South Church because she's going to bless Daisy with one of her gate trophies she has got three so that's fine Daisy now she's got four movement but she's only got one sanity Ugh. so one two three you know what, William might give her the silver key as part of the trade in the movement phase. And then she can get past that um, cultist. So that'll be one, two, three, four. That'd get her to East Town. And mind you, she could go in the graveyard, you know. She could go in the graveyard. She's got five clue tokens. We could seal another gate. And it's a graveyard. I mean... Is it worth the risk? Is it worth the risk? But she's only got one sanity. She'd get lost in time and space and devoured. So, not really. Um, yeah. If she had a few more sanity, I'd send her in the graveyard and see if we could seal another gate because it's another high-frequency gate and it might get us another round. Yeah, I think we've got to get her up to Arkham Asylum. So I think she'll go up to East Town. Do it that way. Yeah, if she had another sanity, if she had two sanity, I'd risk it for a biscuit, but she's only got one. Right, okay, so she'll go up to East Town. And Monty, what's he going to do? Well, he's blessed. He's tooled up. He's got six clue tokens. If, if we get rid of those monsters in Dunwich, and I think they do go, then that's where he's going. He's going in one of those gates and we're going to try and shut it and um, see if we can get another seal on the board. That's what we're going to do. Um, other than that, he'll pick up a clue or something. Um, but
but hopefully we'll have got rid of those um, monsters and we'll be laughing. Right, anyway, enough of that. Uh, what a turn, what a turn, man. Right, I love turns like this. They make up for the first turn in there's something in the mist. So I think we've done really well there. Possible controversies with the, patch, with the patrol wagon, but I've checked. I might even put the link in. Uh, I've checked, it is a tradable item. As I say, I've house ruled it that, you know, the first player can't hand it off to the second player who hands it, hands it off to the third or the fourth. You know, so everybody zooms around Arkham in some sort of, like, re relay race. But I think it's fair that Monty was allowed to go up to Bishopsbrook Bridge, give her the, pad the patrol wagon for her to get down to South Church. That seems like good tactics to me. So I'm doing it. Anyway, that's it for turn 16 of Arkham Horror, the Dunwich Horror. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, thanks very much for all the subscriptions and all the comments and all the tips. Very much appreciated. Any like uh, mistakes or things you want to argue about, like the patrol wagon, please feel free in the comments. But until next time, this is me, Cat Weasel, signing off. Toodaloo!